Okay, so we hopefully know that the area of a triangle is going to be the uh, base times the height times a half or divided by two. That's given in the reference chart. So if you don't know that, then you can pick it out of the reference chart. But you can see here, uh, in order to get the area, we only need two sides, the base and the height. And um, we have three, right? So they're going to make us make a choice which ones to use. So uh, because it's a right triangle, we have an advantage. In order to use this formula, we need to have a right angle. So we need to get two sides to be perpendicular to each other. Now, in other triangles, we get that sometimes by dropping an altitude uh, that goes through the middle of the triangle. You can actually see that in the reference chart. I'll show you what I mean uh, by just kind of popping that in there. So there's our triangle. And you can see the height of that triangle is not a side. It's in the middle. But we don't have that problem. We, we could deal with it, but it's, it's not necessary because our triangle is a right triangle. The height and the base are going to be the same. So that's kind of what we need to do, but we need to know which ones are, what's the base, what's the height, and I guess what's the hypotenuse so we can exclude it. So the key is that the hypotenuse of the triangle, the one we want to exclude, is going to be the biggest side. That's always the case. So I know 2 root 2 is not the biggest side because we have 6 root 2, but let's see what that root 80 is. I'm pretty sure it's bigger, but it's easy to check, right? Let's just do 6 square root 2. That's 8 point something. And if I did the square root of 80, that's 8.9. So it's close. It's close. But radical 80 is slightly bigger, meaning that that's going to be the hypotenuse. So we don't care about it. We care about the other two. So I could draw the picture, but I think we kind of get it at this point. So the area is going to be 1 half times 2 root 2 times 6 root 2. Actually, we could just go to the Desmos at this point as well, but uh, I don't think it's that bad. The half and the two are going to cancel. The root two and this root two are going to multiply to a regular two, and then two times six is 12. B is the answer. But again, if you put this all in Desmos, it would have just come out with 12. If it came out with a decimal, then you can just try the two ones that we know would also be decimals and just see if they give you the same decimal. So uh, a lot of stuff that we would normally have to do by hand without a calculator, things like simplifying fractions and radicals, that is much easier with Desmos because we don't need it to be like exactly as written. We can get the messy decimal and then compare. We can do it with a regular calculator too. I just feel like Desmos is a little easier uh, in those cases. But um, yeah, this is not so bad. I think even if you didn't really know what you were doing, many of you would have done two root two and six root two as the legs um, and as the base and the height and use those anyway. But I could see a harder version of the SAT kind of messing with us and making the hypotenuse not the last part of this and, and making you go back and kind of figure it out. So uh, just good habit to get into is double check. But regardless, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. And in this case, because it's a right triangle, we can exclude it. It's not going to be part of finding the area.